most people these days do the same outline, that would take you like five minutes. If you keep doing the same outline, it ain't going to take you long, is it? Mm -hmm. If you keep trying different things, it's going to take your time. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So people say, I, could, I can do a piece in like half an hour, but so what? Killer Killer Podcast. Killer Killer Official <laughs> Culture TV. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. Nice. We're ready to rock and roll. We are ready to rock and roll. <coughs> Elevators going up. Yeah, Killer Keller podcast. Live and direct. Central London or as central as you need to be, want to be, choose to be. Baby, you don't want to be anywhere else. Big shout out to the sharers and carers. People have been checking us from day dot and onwards. Goes without saying without you. Guys, we ain't doing it for any other reason, to be quite honest. Be shout out to everyone who's got the Television app, free download, iPhone, Android, 40 Street Culture Sports. Um, big shout out to our sponsors, Hoddle Warriors crew over at the Crypto Moon Boys Hideout. That's some NFT business for you. Inside the house, it's happened, it's happening. Criminal damage in the building, trust me. Do one, cancer, exclusive, stair CD. And of course, the mighty desire CD inside the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't get bigger than that of an announcement, does it? How are we, gentlemen? We're good. Yeah, all good, man. All, all good. good. Yeah. Excited. Excited. Yeah. I mean, we, dude, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited that you guys are here. Criminal damage. Decades, decades of uh, tyranny and awesomeness. Um, bullies and kings of the graffiti <laughs> world in the UK. Yeah. Come on, you know it's the truth. Uh, I don't know about that. Don't know. Just we, do, we do our stuff, bits. You know That's what what it, isn't it? Just do bits. Desire. We just look. <laughs> after stuff do you know what I mean yeah, yeah. <laughs> take, we're care taking of care of everything yeah, isn't yeah. It? taking care of the streets you know what I mean yeah. from an era defining time um, of the early 80s right, right through to now we're here for a very important reason aren't we gentlemen if you'd like to stay, I think so um, today's podcast is really all about a jam that's going to happen this summer um, all in benefit of cancer it's under the do one cancer banner which those of you know was originally founded up by Basic and Portuguese Rack. And now looks like I'm taking over the mantle and we just want to raise as much money and as much awareness about cancer for you guys because it hits everyone. One in two people will come into contact with somebody who's got cancer. Now, I know some people, they've had personal experience of it. Some people have helped family members. Some people have lost family members. But, you know... It's, it's treatable. Everything that you can do is treatable. Um, you know, as I said, the jam is going to happen. Big exclusive for you now, Kella. First of July. Whoa. Yeah, Alan first. Gardens. First, yeah. First of July. The See, first Saturday. See, you design who that one now. Yeah. It's going to be. It's going to be sick. There's going to be some serious exclusives going on there. There'll be merchandise to buy. There'll be prints. There'll be canvases. There's going to be some very, very, very limited edition train maps going on by some serious old school dons. Mm. Um, we'll get onto that, I'm sure. And at also, some point. I'd also like to make an announcement as part of the celebration of donating. Some of you might remember the notorious dartboard, the the, the Killer Cat Podcast dartboard that used to frequent right behind us here. If you're listening and not watching, there was that once, <laughs> and it has more um, more uh, affiliated tags on there than your average dartboard. Um, it's iconic, so it's going in in the auction. Exactly. See, yeah, you know, everyone's mm. pitching in. Trust me, there is going to be some serious, serious stuff to be buying on the day on the auction sites on the Just Giving. Um, another thing I'd like to make clear, because I know that there's been a lot of talk about where is it going to be donated to? Is it going to go to Cancer Research? Is it going to go to Macmillan? No, we're not doing that because these are massive, massive organisations that our money really ain't going to make any difference to. So what we've, well, I've decided is that we're going to donate all the proceedings, and I do mean all the proceedings, to a very special hospice that's quite local to me called Noah's Ark, which is a children's cancer hospice. So, you know, if you've got anything about you, um, most of us have got kids, you know, would you want your kid to be in that position? Mm -hmm. Obviously not. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're going to help these guys out so much. Their funding's been cut by the government, 
which again let's not get into the political vibes but we all know what's going on um <laughs> you know i just want everyone to help please there will be a just giving page and a gofundme page up very very soon probably by the end of this podcast i would imagine it will be up mm-hmm. um absolutely you know just if you can, if you can make it down for the day just chuck some pennies in the in the buckets if you want to donate online that's great if you want to wait for the auctions that's also great you know mm. we just want to get the word out there that this is happening and it's going to happen soon 1st of july 2023 yeah that's the one and with light of uh, light of the, the- the cuts, the government cuts on uh, creative arts and uh, events like this not happening. You, you really do have a bit of a pulling power going on oh, here no. with this one. God, I couldn't have timed it better, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to, be, yeah. to be fair, the stars have aligned <laughs> that everything is going to be coming for Do One Cancer. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's blessed. It really is. I can't say much more than that. I mean, the feedback and the support that I've already received from people that I don't even know. Mm-hmm. They've just been... It's just been... Really humbling, mm. really, really humbling. I mean, some of you know, for me, this is very personal um, as I have recently been diagnosed with cancer again. This is the fourth time for me. Fourth time? Wow. Yeah, I like the merry-go-round. I'm just a drama <laughs> queen, basically. <laughs> you know, keep your common colds and all that. For me, it's, yeah, if you're going to get ill, you do it yeah, properly. Yeah, go, go high or go, go high. Yeah, right? exactly. Go hard or go <laughs> Bless home. Bless you. So, thank you, brother. Um... Yeah, you know, this time it's a bit of a different one. It's a bone marrow uh, cancer that I've got. Mm. Um, now, if um, you're not on the bone marrow register, um, it's a very simple test. It's literally a blood test. That's all that you need to do. Really? And, yeah, it's literally a five-second blood test. You'll be put on a register. All your information is confidential, but you might be helping somebody 10 years down the line. You might be helping your brother, your sister, yeah, yeah. your cousin. You know, yeah, I'll have someone out, you know. Exactly. I mean, again, the, you know, the amount of people that have and the ones that haven't, they know who they are. i um, not going to get into any family dramas <laughs> with that. But, yeah, it's, uh, you know, as I said, it's been a very humbling experience. But, you know, I'm blessed that I've got great people around me mm-hmm. like these two. Mm-hmm. I've got a fantastic family. I've got amazing friends. Um I'm blessed, you know. Must be quite enlightening, especially for you, Dee, having known each other for so long. Yeah, yeah, we've had our ups and downs. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you could say that. I guess it's a a new lesson every time, you know, with with an illness such as cancer that that has reoccurred Mm. um, within stairs. So you must you must have seen all these different, you know, moments in time where you've learnt a little bit more, not just about the the illness, but about Stair himself as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hooked up again after many years, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, how many it was years? Bless God. Got to be 20 odd years. Something t- like that. Tilt, tilt yeah, like, tilt set it all up. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> something like, it's something just, like 20 years. Yeah, like 20 years. I mean, you know, we've yeah. all known each other since young. And, <sighs> you know, as to quote you, mate, this thing called life sometimes gets in the way of stuff. Mm. But, you know, when you're down from that age, you know, your brothers, you know, yeah. you've experienced a Absolutely. lot together. Um, yeah, it definitely solidifies mm, the, the, mm. the intention, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely, man. Rare. Rare you find that in friendships that last so long. Things like graffiti and music and such, they, they often, they spark, but it's, it's so emotive, isn't it? Mm. And when you share moments like that with your brethren, it's like, that's, that's huge. Yeah. yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? Um, so... Let's get into the nuts and bolts of it, there, because okay. this is really important. And you said something before podcast, before we started recording, you understand? Because <laughs> uh, we do like to have a chat. Yeah. Um, the, the idea of the symptoms, what's symptomatic on cancer. Yeah. And when you said it to me, I was like, well, everyone gets tired and lethargic. Where would you differentiate a... A, a day, a, a, you know, a big weekend. To, okay. to a, so, so it'd be great to get the real details, the, in, okay. the in, intel on what what um, symptoms you have okay. had when when um, being okay. diagnosed. So, the first lot of cancer that I had was something called Hodgkinson's disease, which is a cancer that affects your immune. Uh, well, it affects your immune system, but it actually affects something called your lymphatic system. And again, quick biology lesson. Your lymphatic system is basically, it's the filter for your kidneys. So any kind of rubbish that your body might have 
you might have put inside your body that will filter it out, then it will go through the kidneys and then it will pass it's through. Friday your nights, body. guys. Yeah. Just a Friday night. So Standard Friday that. night can do it. Could be a Wednesday night. You never know. Yeah. Depends how busy you are, really. <laughs> yeah. It depends how young you are and how busy you are. <laughs> Three day hangovers are not fun after no. certain ages. Once, yeah, once you hit 25, it's all over. Hmm. <laughs> sorry, as well. Sorry, Carrie. Yeah. We're doing as, as, <laughs> <laughs> so the, the main symptoms with Hodgkinson's disease, as Keller's touched on, it's. Um, you know, you feel very tired and not just like, oh, I'm tired, I've, had a, I've been on a bender. I mean to the point where you can't open your eyes. You literally struggle to get out of bed. So very much like flu-like symptoms. Mm. Not a cold, but like a proper influenza where you can't move, everything hurts. Um, another big giveaway for Hodgkinson's disease is night sweats. Now, when I say night sweats, I don't mean, oh yeah, you're a bit hot under the duvet. I mean that you literally get up out of bed and there's an imprint of your body of sweat on the sheets. And, you know, so there's that. You lose weight. It doesn't matter what you eat. You are not keeping it on because your body's trying to fight so much. It's taking so many calories. I mean, you know, that was non-Hodgkinson's disease. I mean, with this one that I've got at the moment, it's called um, myodysplastic syndrome, which it's an immune... It's on the kind of leukaemia tip. It's very much an autoimmune disease. Um, and what this one entails is, as I'm sure you all know, again, biology lesson number two, you have an immune system, you have a central immune system. You have red blood cells that work for like bruising and clotting. You have white blood cells that fight colds and infections. Mm. Now, the way your body works is when you produce white cells, so let's say you've got a cold, your white blood cells they'll go out to battle when they're 21 years old. So they're strong, they're healthy, they're robust. That's probably the best word I could use. Mm -hmm. um, with me, or anybody else who's got myodysplastic syndrome or it's kind of similar with leukaemia, is my white cells, if you were to put an age in them, would be about six or seven. So you're asking children to go out and do a man's job. So any cold, if you get a cold, say, two, three days, hmm. if I get a cold, three or four weeks. Really? Yeah. Wow. So it's, you know, this is where sometimes I might say, oh, I'll be, I'll be at a jam, I'll be, I'll be there, and then I might get a cold and I just can't move. Hmm. So apologies for anybody who I've let down, you know, hmm. but there was there wasn't a valid reason for it. But, yeah, it, it's heavy. You know, it's, it's hard work for the person who's undergoing it but it's also very hard work for friends and family. And I think, yeah. you know, people lose that a lot of the time, I feel. You know, it's one thing, you know, if I look at my wife, it's one thing, say, if I'm ill and I'm getting all the attention and I'm, I'm the focus of everything, which, rightly or wrongly, that's the way that the medicine thing works. But, you know, how strong have you got to be to kind of just sit back and let that happen? Mm. And, you know, like friends, family, mm. that... You know, it's, it's amazing. You know, the strength of people who go through things in silence is mad. Yeah, I can imagine. And that's what these <clears throat> events like this is, to actually open the conversation and shout it loud. And it's, it's OK to talk about these sorts of topics. Mm. It's OK to, to face... You also said, and again, I'm just, it's going to be a whole session of paraphrasing because, um, you know, you're fully experienced in this, this, this world. <laughs> yeah. Well, you wouldn't be... You wouldn't be <laughs> Forefront, you wouldn't be yeah. fronting this such no. an amazing cause. Thank you. Um, but uh, you say the word cancer, and it's you know people are used to the word terrorism now. You say cancer, and all of a sudden ears prick up, mm -hmm. and panic sets in, and do you know what I mean this is it's a real, true. this is a real war cry, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. You What's know, don't on? be afraid. Don't be afraid of cancer. I wouldn't say embrace it, but get knowledgeable about it. Learn how you can fight it just by. Simple things like just adjusting your diet and things like that, mm. cutting down on processed food, cutting down on sugar, mm. you know, just eat eat seasonally. And what I mean by that is... Eat normal stuff, people. Jeez. <laughs> I'm trying, man, I'm trying. You know what I mean? Nah, D's on it. Yeah, D knows. I'm on it. You know I'm on it. Yeah, D's on yeah, it. Man. It's all yeah, good. Well, it, 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 as soon as somebody close to you, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It hits really... home that much more. Yeah. Um, so this jam then, so I'm presuming the whole of criminal damage will be in the, in the building, right? Oh, yes. And I'd like to think a lot of AS, all stars will be there as well. Yeah. 
Hey, Big up man. to a man like Avia All who's day. actually taken it over to Australia I know, on the day. So, yeah. you know, I, as I said, international people are just repping it massively, and I can't. I, it's just very humbling. Mm. It's very, very. I don't. I feel quite embarrassed talking about it because it's. You know, you don't expect these things. I, expect mm. what uh, the just like the whole kind of graph community to kind of come on board. You know, I did. I did a little go kind of GoFundMe page for Stand Up to Cancer because there was a um, a dog walking challenge, which I have got two lovely dogs, a sausage dog and a French bull, French bulldog. Anyway, no, nah, just the two now. Hopefully yeah. more soon, but oh. just don't tell the wife. Um, <laughs> she'll come home. She'll, she'll she love says publicly on a yeah. podcast. <laughs> publicly on a podcast, you know, but hey-ho. If you see her, don't tell her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, and I have people donating... Fivers, tenors, twenty pounds, forty yeah. pounds. People that I've never met that Beautiful. might just follow me on Instagram and things like that. And you know, that's what I mean by humbling. How that's people, beautiful. it's you know, the whole the way the graph scene works. Everyone says it's all divisive and it's all split. But when shit like this gets real, you'd be amazed mm. at how how many people actually come round you who you didn't expect, mm. and they they represent for you. And you know. I think there's a lot of emotions in play. I think always with graffiti, there's always been that the the, the emotional mm. side. What I what I understand of graffiti writers and the culture as a whole is they. I think it's a class thing. A spade is a fucking spade. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you know what I mean, definitely. So, so if excuse my language, of course. So if you're if you're if you're legit and your word is bond, it's, it goes far yeah. beyond. Yeah anything else really doesn't it i mean you you guys coming from the era that you had i mean this was what well, we're talking <laughs> a long I'm, long I'm time talking, <laughs> sounds like star trek isn't yeah, it a long long time ago i thought know. i was the only yeah. one in my area at the time yeah Did yeah yeah we started until i stumbled up on like um Hayes. Yeah. Who's cast? Yeah. You know I mean? Peanut. Who's Tilt? Peanut. Yeah. Peanut. Long no, tag. Tilt, yeah, but Tilt, <laughs> tilt come into it later. Cause yeah. We, we, yeah, come on. I got Tilt into it because we was going out hitting track sides. Yeah, but check it. He used to be a B-boy before. Yeah. Like, so, like, Sick they used to have up. their crews and um, we had ours. And um, Cast was doing the back pieces for their jean jackets. Yeah. And um, mm. that would be rare. I was doing ones for our crew and that. I mean, so yeah. It's, oh, yes. It goes back then, and I was tilt said to me like, oh, "Do you know what I want to do this graph thing?" And he used to write peanut, which was long, you know what I mean? Oh, with the DBL <laughs> and, and the king and the four five six. It's a long and oh. time, you know what I mean? Yeah, the wicked God. style of that yeah. tag. Then he changed it to tilt. He said, "I'm gonna call myself tilt." I said, the T's, man, the two T's. Lots straight said, lines and all that. That's yeah. a lot of things. He said, "No, nah, no worry about. It. I'm gonna be king of the Met line." And, and he it, did it. And he did it, yeah. You oh, know. Because he likes, good. you know what I mean, he likes thrill and all that lot. So, like, yeah. he used to... He used to smash yeah, it. Yeah, he used to smash it. So, yeah, we had our crews and stuff. So, like, he was doing the B-boy stuff and we had our crew, we used to battle them lot. Mm. So, he used to go off at all the youth clubs. So, how old have you been then? I was 13 when I was doing this graph thing, but just tags and stuff like that nothing clever 85 86 85 isn't it yeah 85 is when it started getting real yeah all the battling the yeah. popping the, you know what I mean the graph because you've always been music as well Let's yeah yeah get Desire yeah, is a yeah. proficient artist of all of all genre I was a teacher man I used to teach people give them their names and stuff exactly people used to come around my house with their peace books and stuff and it was a no, big, it was a big deal house. back they, in the day coming around. People come over to my house and I used to mark their books and send them on their way and tell them, you know what I mean, bring some paint. Yeah. Did you used to give people their names as well? Yeah, I used to give them their names, loads of people. Yeah, who? Stacks, we had Dino, who you started to write Damn. Skets was about, yeah, who God. else we had? Sketch 2, remember him? Names. Um, back in the day. Um, giving people styles, letters, all kind of stuff like that, you know what I mean? And then afterwards, like, because I was, when we was racking back in the day, I weren't the best, so I used to give them outlines, <laughs> get, ABCs get the and stuff. Look, like, I'd walk across the road, they'd go in the shop and grab the stuff, give me that, and they can go home. It's true. So, it, that's, yeah. how, that's how it used to work back in so the day. So it used to work, give and take. But now, 
It's a different. It's a, it's different, a different world, world man. It's a different world. How do you how do you see it as as, as in twenty twenty three? Obviously, there's a seismic difference to how it used to be, but but how do? Because you guys are busy now. Like it's almost mm. like you, you just you're still part of the landscape, even though it's been so long. You're 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 you're. you're you know, you're so close to the flame. Like, what's 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 the difference? I'm learning off the new school. Yeah, yeah. Learn from definitely. Them. Do you know what I mean? Transparent paints. Yeah. Transparent paints. Oh. Never get a black transparent paint thinking that it's the outside <laughs> paint. That's, uh, hiya. Yeah, here I am. <laughs> Can't win them all. So it's so a learning it's a curve. Thing, you know I mean? I've only been in this game for a year. As you exactly. Listen, it's a learning curve. That's all it is. It's you know, there's there's no right or wrong. There's only mm. there's only the effort and the love that you put into it. Talking of effort and love, because you guys. You guys take your time with pieces, bruv. Like I'll tell you why we wire. take time, right? Because like, most people these days do the same outline. That would take you like five minutes. If you keep doing the same outline, it ain't going to take you long, is it? Mm -hmm. If you keep trying different things, it's going to take your time. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So people say, I, could, I can do a piece in like half an hour, but so what? But what's the point? Uh, who yeah. who yeah. said that there's a time limit on it? Mm -hmm. If you're doing legal stuff, what's mm -hmm. the point? I mean, it means I, nothing. Can I just big up a cross for oh, yesterday? Um, big up a cross in general. Yeah, right. big up a cross in general. But purely purely because he's now kind of set his own standard in as much as he's not writing a cross until he's come up with a new outline. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yesterday he a did a beautiful piece for his daughter. Um, again, check him out on uh, Insta. Well worth it. I see him on freights and everything. He's just a busy, busy man. Yeah. yeah. You know, for someone that's... Uh, well, like you say, and I think this this holds true to criminal damage. Quality, quality over quantity. What you guys have brought into the crew, like is 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 I mean, big up Mir as well and Babs yeah. etc. Like you know, we're we're talking about real fucking high standards, high standards. Don't forget Luke. Don't forget Kiss. No. Oh. You know, don't forget Moss. Come on, come on, come on. It's you true. Know. There's there's oh, some man, man. there's some serious writers there. Yeah, man. You just wouldn't. You just. You couldn't. You You've couldn't got Super in. Seven. Oh yeah, of course. Mean? Come on, man. Yeah, Super. If you don't know, get to know. He's got some crazy, crazy stuff. Come on, man. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. You have these jams. That's the last time I saw all you guys together. Was at the jam down at um, Latimer Road. Yeah, that's right. That was a vibe. That was a good one. That was a vibe. And so, have you ever got into music yourself, Stair? Doing the music. Mm, I did. I dabbled with DJing for a little bit. Because you know, we all know the stories about these uh, these ravers, early door ravers. Like I'd be for six years. Yeah, yeah, sorry, so. yeah. Let's. Uh, yeah, it was a very uh, illuminating time in my life. <laughs> I think that's probably the best way I could put it. Physically, <laughs> mentally, <DJing>. emotionally, <laughs> it was. Uh, yeah, it was. Listen, I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about a different music genre. Um, I met some fantastic DJs and some fantastic people going back through to 87 that I'm still in touch with now. Mm. You know, it's, you know, I've been blessed that I've been, I've, my path has crossed with a lot, a lot of really good, good people, mm. you know, just creative souls. You know, there, there's a lot out there that people don't realise. Mm. You know, house music, you think about 1988 and you think of like Todd Terry and Ibiza and things like that. And then you look at, say, drum and bass now. And it's, I mean, drum and bass, when that first started, you could only, you could only go to, like, East London and hear Groove and Rider and Fabio. Yeah. yeah. And for real, you know, them boys were killing it. Mm. And, you know, it was like dance music's dirty little secret. Mm. And now everything's drum and bass. Everything. Everything. Kids have just adapted it, reinterpreted it. I mean, it's just incredible, isn't it? It's brilliant. It makes you realise how far this street culture thing's come. Massively. You, you know... The fact that we're even here. Yeah. You know. You know, you look at, you know, look at your own journey, Keller. You know, you've gone from beatboxing to this, to writing, to back to beatboxing, mm. to, you know, just all different flavours of music that you're now putting your spin on as mm. well. I appreciate and, that. You know, let's not, let's not forget this man sitting next to me when, it, when you're yeah. talking music. I'm the king of Segway, so it was leaning very heavily towards our guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've released music, you've put music, you've collaborated, you've done so much stuff. No, no, I've only been doing... I've been, well, DJing since 88. Uh, Only been DJ since I got... No, I mean, all right, I got my turntables <laughs> at, when I was 18. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, 
started scratch DJing and all that stuff. Uh, now I'm making music. It's only taken me a year. Yeah, but what due what music my, you're making, mate? Yeah, I'm making some stuff, but like it's due to my daughter. She's like when she was. Who's uh, inside the house, by the way? Yeah. In the complete house. and utter hiding denial that she's inside the house. <laughs> oh, Skylar, you good? You good? <laughs> it's like a fear. She's oh, fear. you're getting the look. <laughs> don't the look. Don't it's do it. Word that I started like um, it's only been a year. It's because we got a pad for her and she was doing music on the pad, and I thought I better have a go at this. Mm. You know what I mean? So um, I picked it up, took me a year, and then a tune come out. So I'm quite tough for myself, you know? Mm. It's, a, it's, a, it's a proper tune as well. Yeah, it's all right. Do you think, I guess hindsight's twenty twenty, isn't it? Mm. And there's been a couple, the theme to a lot of our conversations before we jumped on here uh, uh, was we were of an age, we were younger then. Things are, things are different now, we're older, you know? Mm. But, but does, does history, ever leave you? And I don't mean that from a... Not- I mean, yeah, I do. I guess I mean from a notoriety point of view. Because people, especially in graffiti, they hold that like a... almost like a badge of honour. So how far do you go down the road whereby that badge of honour suddenly becomes the, the, the cloud that hangs over you in terms of your own progress? Cool, that's a good one, isn't that's, it? That's deep. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 wow. I impressed man. myself there. <laughs> yeah, that's... So, wow. I, I don't worry about nothing. I'm just having fun with what I do. I don't really care what people think. I really couldn't care less. If I'm having fun with it, that's why I'm going to run with it. That's mm. it. Yeah, I think... I'm happy with that. Yeah, I mean, I think that... Hindsight, as you said, is twenty twenty, But the thing is, like anything, you have to move forward. Mm. You have to, you know. What... I did and what I considered good back in 86, I now look at and it's like, ooh, that's not great. Mm. But, you know, it's it's part of who you are. It's part of your makeup. It's part of what makes you the individual that you are. Mm. You know, it's, you know, you, I mean, you talk about hindsight, you know, you think about caps and paint that we all used to get by nefarious means. Mm. Um, you know, you, you, look at say a company like Montana and that was the gold standard. Yeah. Belt on that was the gold standard. Yeah. And now you got you got Loop, mm. which for me, big up Loop. Um I love Loop paint. I really do. I can't I can't even lie about it. <laughs> it's not bias uh, on this podcast here, you see not biased, <laughs> but, Yeah, then you ask me a question, I'm giving you an no, no, answer. No, no, you're That's all you ever talk about. I love loop, my loop man. paint. I love the stock caps. <laughs> I love it all. Yeah. Uh, I think people forget that, you know, when you see that like rockincity.com, I mean I I habitually go on there even now just for my own nostalgic mm. point of views and uh you forget that the, the the art was as much the getting the paint was it was as much as the tricks in the in the trade you couldn't just have a pink like a normal pink nowadays no, this, yeah <laughs> you used to go and travel and get that god I remember having yeah. a lilac buntlet that I wouldn't let out my sight yeah. for about six months <laughs> it's like no no one's coming near that there was tricks as well right there was tricks as well you had to do to get these colours to work oh right? god yeah yeah you had to get creative with, what was like, the funniest creative story you've ever had to, to get God, a certain baby. colour the, 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 to get a pink to get well that's one of them yeah. mainly it was the pink most of my pieces were pink back then but, yeah. <laughs> so I had to go out there and get it <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kilpin or Cricklewood you know what I mean oh god yeah. hobby luck god yeah come oh. on man do you remember yeah. that shop in Covent Garden where they racked up the bunt lag? They yeah. had bar, they literally had wire over the bunt lag thing because Saturday afternoon Covent Garden that's where you went and they were getting rinsed on the weekly <laughs> Covent Garden, that was a lot, there was a lot of steaming going on around there as well, yeah. which people don't often talk about, that, you know, racking was just a... It was just what you did. It mm. was, you know, we... I suppose you say we <laughs> learned from the Americans, it's, really. The p- pixelation is not doing this man's face any justice. <laughs> All he's doing is smiling through the whole fucking episode. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you so know, the, the, the memories are pouring out and he's just trying to hold his mouth <laughs> not to well, think well, listen my daughter's here so <laughs> I know that was the, we'll that, get, that we'll was the buffer that was the reason why it's all good that, yeah. it's all good <laughs> so. yeah I mean this is just a beautiful thing isn't it to think that in that period of time okay you don't have to think about the obstacles creatively that they used to be but there's something artistic about that as well for his time mm. 
You know what I mean? They well, don't have the most dodgiest paint out there. We just get to grab that, use that, let's that go. That'll do it. No. Yeah. And what about getting your photos? People don't realise, these young generation don't realise that you were basically putting yourself on offer when you went to Boots or Snappy Snaps or wherever it is you went to get your photos That's done. That's why I used to get someone else to go and do Yeah, you get, you get next man to go in and, yeah, just put them and in. And that's another thing. What's it? We didn't, I couldn't afford a camera. Most of us couldn't. So no. we used to have to go and find someone with one. Yeah, or a faraway camera. Or just don't get no picture. And that's it. Yes. There's so much history that's never been documented. That I think that's, you know, that's also a crime. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of writers um, of mine and these age that, uh, you know, you've done pieces that no one's ever seen before because mm. you didn't have access to a yeah. camera. There wasn't platforms like Flickr or Instagram or whatever social media you want to use now. Mm. It's, it's such, it's real night and day. Mm. Do, you know, do you know what I mean? Mm. I mean, God, I sound old. <laughs> <laughs> there was a, uh, I mean, I'm sure you guys. Jumpers for goalposts. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, back yeah. in the day. Jumpers for goalposts. Yo. That Standing like, up football. Yeah. That, that sounds like a website in the making. <laughs> Jumpers for goalposts. That's amazing. Um, Prime, uh, Prime came on podcast, and if you guys remember that podcast, and then you've been yeah. veterans of this uh, audible exercise for many a year, but um, he said that there was a piece that he'd always wanted to see that he had done with Teach and it was a whole car and it said primary teacher they did a oh, big fucking cool that man. must have been wicked yeah. there must have been a bunch that you guys have done in the past where you're just like I wish I had a flick for that God, I, can, uh, I can remember doing a top to bottom on the northern line way back when and there was no photos of that mm. and yet the dedications on that must have taken up half the car it was you know, you just, you did. It's what you did. See, I don't like most of my stuff, so I'm not bothered. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> that's the I truth. just don't really like most of the stuff, but I'm yeah, it was just... just trying to get it right. That's, yeah. that's the thing, trying to get it all right. Mm. It's true. One day I might like something. No, it's never <laughs> going to happen. It's for. never going to happen. No, nah, you never know. Cross, <laughs> Cross was exactly the same. He didn't like any of his... It's kind of part of the car criteria when yeah. exercising like a higher level of attention to, you know, hand yeah. styles and your lettering and yeah. stuff like that. But you've got characters as well. I've got characters. I've got the whole the whole nine. I can do it all. Yeah. Um, that's it, really. Mm. I can't. I'm just trying. Mm. I'm giving it a go. Yeah, and likewise yeah. for yourself, Steph. Yeah, like just you know, trying to just. Trying to do bits, that's all, that's all you can do, isn't it? You know, you just got to go with what feels good. I think the thing is with, with early style writing as well and not having the flicks, is sometimes a flick paints a thousand moments, doesn't it, of what happened, how you got there, what, you know, yeah. the processes were of getting through. I mean, you guys kinged it on so many levels. I mean, you know, and it doesn't even get documented. It's, it's, it's what this podcast is really all about, isn't True. it? Yeah, but then you get loads of people who come up on here, on your show, who talk pure lies as well. Ah. It's because they just want to come on here to make out that, that it was something they weren't. You ah. get quite a few like that, but I ain't going to say nothing about that. I mean, again, there's... But there is... Spice alerts, we're in... We're just in. telling you the truth, you mm. know what I mean? There's a lot of people who just talk or are good at chatting on the internet, little typing and all that lot. That's why I stay off it. Mm. I don't say much. Yeah, that they, that that can be quite um, toxic. Mm. It, there's stacks like of them. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to just, if I can, just give a big up to people that most of these younger writers won't even know about, people mm. like Miff too. 100%, do it. People like Cast, people like Tilt, mm. you know. Cast is a don man. If he was, If he was painting today, I, it would be scary what he could I could, could, I could do a podcast just talking about Cast. Yeah. He's, the guy is just a... He's an urban legend. Yeah, That's what he is, he is now. He really is, man. You know, people like, as I said, Tilt, Nice One, all them boys, you know, you, you don't hear about them because, you know, because of the lack of flicks mm. and because there was no social media back mm. in them days... You know, it's only word of mouth. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you go to different galleries and different things and you hear about writers of, say, our generation talk about people like Robbo, who, mm -hmm. you know, you know, got oh, nothing man. but love for. Yeah. But 
you know, there was other writers out there doing doing just as much, mm. if not more. Let's get some more names out there. Let's get the flowers going. God, who do we Come go on, with? Man. Kiss forty two. Yeah, man. Kiss obviously. All Coma mm-hmm. all day. We said cast man like Drax. Mm. You know, he's still killing it out there. Um, you know that whole that whole uh, WHR crew. Yeah, they smashed it to pieces. DDS mm-hmm. smashed it. Still <laughs> smashing it. Mm-hmm. You know, there's there's PFB, so much out there. PFB, PFB yeah. You know, TU. Come could, on. Yeah, TU could talk about one four sevens, man. One four sevens. Yeah, you know it. You know, could talk about a man like Realm for years. Realm. Yeah. yeah from yeah. back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Who's now doing other bits and bobs in, in this culture. But, you know, there's... Billy Spliff. Yeah, on, Billy Spliff. You know, there's so many people out there that you could spend 40 minutes, an hour, just chatting names. Mm. You know, set free. Oh, set free. You know, there's... Oh, a genius response to coming out of jail. Set free, let's yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> it's amazing. like... And so many people didn't get it. No. You know, that, that was what was amazing about it. It was like... Why would you pick that name? Mm. You know, work it out. Well, it used that. to be Myth, innit? Yeah, so that was right. Myth too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's it's scary. It's scary. I mean, again, I could just go on, but I'm gonna yeah, yeah. I'm gonna let you. State of art, no limits. Come on, I mean, it's just it's... there's so much. There's so many crews out there that you could that you could just drop, but. There's enough. I used to rate IC3. Yeah. 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 Mm, so, God, see, stuff up, Grove. That's a name I know. Yeah, heard. man, it's bad. Vinyl man. Junkies. Yeah. Do you remember their pieces they used to drop up up there? Mm-hmm. Remember, they did one. I'll never forget it. Like, the it, the piece said Groove, and it had two record, two turntables in the middle of the piece. It's one of the nicest things I've what, ever seen. What, in the O's? Seen. Yeah, oh. the, O's were, the O's were turntables. So you're, and you're way ahead of his time it's, now. You know, that's the nice. thing. You know, we haven't even spoke about a man like Ganja. Ganja, R.I.P. Rays, R.I.P. You know... Oh, it's history, evil. history, I mean, right there. Wow, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if 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 anything, I whenever I put to you up, I I put it up for them. Yeah, definitely. You know, you you pay your respect. That's yeah. that's what it's about. Yeah. And I think that's you know going back to kind of the cancer thing. I think it becomes very humbling when you do write graph and you do think about those that have gone before you and mm. and you know those unfortunately that aren't with us anymore mm. and. You know, it's it's all kind of interwoven, interlinked. That you're doing it for the right reasons. You're not doing it for the social media fame. You're not doing it for the amount of likes you get mm. or new subscribers. Sorry, um, <laughs> but you know, it. I think it shows in your work and the way that people appreciate what you do. Um, if it's coming from a real, mm. genuine place and it's it's made with care and it's made with love. Yeah. You know, and it's. You know, these, you know, CD, it's bond, you know, they're my brothers, mm. you know, known some of these guys for over 30 odd years. Mm. You know, you don't find friendships like that. Yeah, you know, beautiful. that's, mm. you know, it's a, it's a mad thing. And, you know, I know to a man, if I asked anybody in CD or AS to be there for me, they'd do it. Mm. You know, it's, it's not even, a, wouldn't even need to ask, to be fair. Nicest people as well. Yeah. Nicest people. These Don't. gentlemen are a testament to to this theory um, and pass them through. Um, anything more you'd like to add, gentlemen? Just watch out for Do One Cancer. Uh, we will be doing a big old social media blitz pretty soon. Applications will be set up pretty soon. Um, it's only, well, it's one or two possible venues um, that we've discussed. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna apologise in advance for those that if we don't have room, please don't take it as a diss or a slight. It's just there's only so much room, it but that doesn't yeah. mean that you can't drop something in your own town mm-hmm. and set up your own little jam. Mm-hmm. You know, let's get that spirit of punk back. You know, mm-hmm. you want to you want to do something. Look at these two guys here. Mm. You know, just do it. Just get out of there and do it. What's mm-hmm. the worst that can happen? People might say, oh, well, that didn't work out. Yeah, but at least you had a go. All the links will be below. You can go and check it out and get involved ASAP. And all the contributions are coming from this side. And this won't be the last podcast these gentlemen are doing. We're going to set precedence and get this thing rolling out. So it's a regular thing. Um, but gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you, yeah. my brother. Desire, Appreciate stare it. inside the building. <laughs> Bro. 
We got there. We did Lovely. it. We, we did done it. it. Da, 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 da. Boom. Yeah, like that. Killer Keller Podcast Ally in was out of fashion, all right? Sharing is caring. Spread the word. Tell a friend to tell a friend. All right? Crime don't pay, but neither do they. Don't talk to any of our wooden people. Stay lucky. Peace. Peace. Peace.